Hey everyone, this is an HP firmware update on the E87660 and the 650640 also pertains to the monochrome versions as well, E82540. And what is happening is the control panel is freezing up, meaning that it's not responding to my touches, to the touch touches on the screen. So, and then the other symptom is initializing scanner shows up on the screen and it takes forever to initialize the scanner. So freezing panel, this is an a known issue and the firmware update should take care of this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine off, shut down this machine and retrieve the most current firmware from the hp.com website. So I'll, on hp.com, select your model number and choose the most current firmware. And just download the most current firmware. So the most current firmware as of today is June 2nd, 2022. This already might be old well, by the time you watch this video, but this is the most current one at this time right now. Extract the file and you're looking for the BDL file here, you're gonna right click on the BDL file after extracting the zip file, and then copy that to a USB thumb drive. Take that USB thumb drive with the BDL file on it, and plug it into the left side of the control panel into the USB slot. Turn the machine on, and while the machine is turning on, go ahead and tap the center of the screen so as the machine is turning on, keep tapping the middle portion of the screen and an HP logo will pop up and the machine will enter the service menu. When that blue screen service menu pops up, select administrator, press OK. Select download, press OK. And scroll down to thumb drive where the BD file, BDL file is located. Press OK and it should show the actual firmware update file E87640. Press OK once selected. And from here it will transfer the BDL file from the USB thumb drive onto the printer itself. So this process will take about five to six minutes, maybe more if the file is larger. I went ahead and sped up this video so you can see what the screen looks like. When it's done transferring the file, it will say complete. At the screen when it says complete, press OK and then press OK again. We can, I think it will say continue. You can go ahead and press on can continue and press OK. And what it, this does, it will go ahead and restart the machine by itself. There, there's a series of screens that will pop up. System one, system two. Checking hardware. And then I think the last one would be upgrading hardware. And it will take, a, in, this took about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a long process to upgrade, upgrade the firmware. When it's all said and done, it will restart itself and reboot with the new firmware on the machine itself. So no need to turn the machine off or unplugging it. It will do it all by itself. This is the final screen. When it's done updating, it says initializing. And you can actually hear the motors turning. And it should bring you to the home screen itself. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out another configuration page and compare it to the configuration page that I printed before updating the firmware. And so I wanna confirm that the firmware date code is changed from the old to the new date. So here where it says firmware date code, it says 2021-04, 07 the new firmware date code is 
0602 so I know that the firmware is updated and it's properly installed in the machine that should take care of your freezing panel problem thanks for watching